Hi guys! Look who's back! Pat the Pointer! Yay, Pat! So, Pat's super thrilled that I'm doing this video because this is a few things I've bought to try to organize and tame the monster, which is my craft supplies. Um, I've done this video already, but I had to do it again because I talked and talked and talked your ear off. So, I just want to briefly tell you, Pat was, few people have asked me over my last few videos, where the heck is Pat? Pat was in a box. <laughs> and I sort of knew which box Pat was in, but it was kind of a mystery since the last fall. <clears throat> and I don't have a craft room. I work in my living room when I'm crafting. I set up a card table and then I surround myself with bo my boxes of supplies on the couch and it's a big disaster and luckily my husband <laughs> is able to just look beyond it um and you know we have a relatively small living room too which just makes it worse so I keep most of my craft supplies in a small um with one extra bedroom so one wall is all shelves for that plus I have boxes of stuff which kind of move between the living room and the hallway and my bedroom and wherever they have to go and it's crazy and I should um some things are organized well but overall it's not organized well so I'm trying to work away at just giving myself some things that might help me keep things more organized not not for the items themselves although I hope that that happens, but more for the toing and froing of the items when I have to, because um, the biggest problem I have is I'll get all the items that I want for a project, but getting them back where into their areas that they belong, that's where the chaos tends to stem from. They don't get put away properly by me, and then things pile up really fast. So, uh... I have done, um, after Christmas I did, I got some organizational bins, different sizes of different products at the Dollar Tree and the Dollarama. And for those of you in the States, the Dollarama is very much like the Dollar Tree. Um, the items are one to three dollars and everything in between. Um, <clears throat> a lot of similar items as the Dollar Tree, but some different things as well. And, um... It's great to have both stores because um, they each have different um, items like in craft supplies and in organizational um, items, that sort of thing. So it's great to go to both stores. I'm lucky to have both um, nearby. So uh, my point is I got some stuff for the bathroom, redid my cabinets and shelves, drawers in the bathroom, and it's been awesome. Like I think I spent less than 10 bucks on the organizational items that I used in the bathroom drawers and cabinet and it's really made my bathroom more efficient so I'm thrilled so I'm hoping to apply some of that to my crafting monster piles <clears throat> um, although a lot of it's gonna be trial and error so I'll show you a couple things that I picked up and you know if things go well over the next few months hopefully I'll be able to show you what's working um, and if I don't show you what's working, it probably means it's not working and I'm got to figure something else out. So first I'm going to show you a really, a couple of crafty items I picked up because who could help doing that at the Dollarama. So there's these satin puffy hearts, hoping to use them on some cards for Valentine's Day. And I got this tape. Um, they have new, a bunch of these new designs. So I opened it up because I wanted to see what um, what it was like. Because I didn't know if it was like the duct tape or if it's like packing tape. And it's kind of like, it's kind of, it's more like washi tape, but like glossy. So it's kind of halfway between washi tape and packing tape. It's not as sticky as packing tape, but it doesn't, it also doesn't feel like it would um, be really um, sticky to adhere so you may want to be careful if you're if you're using this on mailing packages but super fun I think it would work really well for junk journals and 
things. So they had a lot of different new patterns of that. They've had some before, but I've never bought this particular brand before. So those are my crafty items. And I think everything else I have to show you is going to be more in the lines of me trying to get um, stuff organized. So I got a few of these um, storage boxes. They're for paint brushes, but I may end up putting other things in them because um, I don't have that many paintbrushes, but you know, long stuff. I think it'll be good. And it's got a little um, handle, so that would be good for toing and froing, I think. Um, let's see, I got, I was thinking I could use some pencil cases. This is actually a makeup bag, but it was $2.50, which was cheaper, I think, than the large size pencil cases they happen to have in stock right now. So it's, it's just really cute, sort of silvery. And they have these. So these are like a mesh bag, like a really wide, thin pencil case, the zipper. And this is 12 by 10. So I, um, I know it's flimsy, but I was thinking that maybe my small bits of cardstock or something might be good in that if I keep it flat. So I got, I just got one of those. I'm going to just see. Um, <clears throat> and then they have these ones which are slightly smaller. So this says it's 11 by 8.85. So I, you probably couldn't fit an 8.5 11 in there, but um, same idea. It's mesh, it's translucent. I really have a thing, I, ha I really need to see if I can what is in boxes and bags and everything because if I don't see it I don't use it and that is one of the biggest problems with me having to pack away my craft hoard all the time. Um, I think I would use stuff better if I could have it out all the time in a craft room but uh, it is not that way in our house. So I got two of those and let's see what else I got. I picked up one of these. It's an egg um, con container, which you're supposed to put in your fridge, I guess, instead of just using your egg carton. Um, but I thought that is going to come in handy. Um, like it's loose. The lid is taller than the stuff in. So if there was beads or something, they'd spill all over. But I think for working on projects, it would hold things really well and you could cover them or there's got to be lots of things you could put in that wouldn't matter if they overflowed, you know, and the lid would hold it. So I just thought that would probably be handy. Alternately, I thought <laughs> if that doesn't work for craft supplies, it may end up going in like a bedroom drawer or something for earrings or something. I don't know. I probably wouldn't use it for eggs, though. So I also got one of these. I don't know if you guys can see my background. So this is a three part container. It's actually meant for snacks, for like a serving tray. It was in the food container section, 250. I got one of these for when I did my bathroom drawer organization and I've got different things in the compartment that I can just grab into in the top drawer and it is awesome for that. So again, I thought that might be good for craft supplies in my one craft drawer that I have. I have a dresser drawer in that bedroom that has craft supplies. <clears throat> I picked up one of these. So you buy these individually, this wire organizer and then you you can build these different shelving sort of things um but i saw a video of a girl who used this to make a wall um organizational holder for her small craft paint bottles and they fit really perfectly and I will try to put a link down below to show you guys how she did that. I'm hoping to do that in the little room because um, it looked like perfect for the space I have. I also got one of these kitchen drawer organizers which I will probably use for craft supplies 
in that drawer I have, dresser drawer I have. And I got one of these large hangers, which has the different um, rings on it, rungs. Um, it's a pant hanger, but I think I will hang maybe laces and ribbons from it and hang it on the back of the door. For the ones that I use the most. And I also got some different bins, deep ones. Uh, I have a lot of different plastic bins in my craft, in my room where I keep my craft supplies, mm, but I'm just going to have to re sort of do how they are existing. These are two bucks. They're really nice and sturdy. They're new. It's the first time I've seen them at the Dollarama. Um, they're very, um, like I said, sturdy. So I like them better than some of the other plastic bins. I also got a lot of little pl clear plastic small um, bins, but I didn't bring them out to show you guys. And I think that's it, really. I just get a couple more of the paintbrush holders. So um, hopefully that will help Pat and I keep on top of this pile of, I don't know. I love my craft supplies. I love them but they really made me frustrated this last couple of months. So I got to deal with it. So hopefully I will get myself organized. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.